And the video package for the main event wasn't that long. The issue was we had four guys, and they were going to do their entire entrance. I saw online that from the bell ringing to end Sammy and Gunther to the bell ringing to start the main event was 40 minutes. Well, it was actually 36. Okay. And I know this because we had a competition on the board. Ah, I see. Okay. And Scats won. He okay. predicted 36 minutes to get from the end of the previous match into the ring for the next match. I see. That's way too long. Yeah. And, uh, and then let's cut to the chase. The Rock pin Cody. It is bloodline rules tomorrow. The main event went. I I had it as thirty nine minutes. Somebody else said forty four. I said forty three. Forty three. Yeah. It may it may have been forty. It probably was forty three. But uh, it was a it was a twelve minute match. Thank you. That's the key. That they stretched out <laughs> for forty four minutes. I saw some really great forty minute matches. And hey, this let me tell you this, everybody. I had the the match lineup and also how long every match was going to be in advance, and I have the same for tomorrow. And uh, it was planned to be a 45-minute match, and, uh, and it was. And they're also giving about 40, 45 minutes for tomorrow's main event. Now, I do expect tomorrow's main event to be far more exciting because it is bloodline rules. And so this had, like, some smoke and mirrors, but I think that tomorrow's going to have a lot of smoke and mirrors. And I think that tomorrow is when you are going to see John Cena, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Maybe even The Undertaker. Yeah. You're going to see like all these guys are all going to do run-ins. It's going to be like, you know, this show opened up with Triple H coming out and talking about how it's a new era. They're really pushing this renaissance thing. And I think that the end of the main event tomorrow, the story is going to be like, it's the end of an old era and the beginning of a new era. So the old era and the new era are going to clash. The new era is going to come out on top. And, uh, and that's going to be that. So I, I actually am kind of bullish on tomorrow, but we shall see. And uh, the other thing I will say, I think we should just review the main event first. Uh, Rock pinning Cody. Like, the thing with this show is every match, with the exception of I did not expect fucking R-Truth and The Miz to win the Raw Tag Team titles. <laughs> Although when you really think about it, if you have been watching Raw and you saw the storyline that they did with the Judgment Day and Truth, and how much people loved Truth, and how he got fucked over in the end, it actually makes sense that he ended the reign of the Judgment Day. But it was our truth and The Miz, and I could not bring my brain to put the tag team titles on The Miz in 2024. But like other net, every finish was exactly what you expect. I think I predicted almost everything on this show, except for the Uso match, exactly. And I figured that... Rock was going to pin Cody, provided the Rock has agreed to do a singles match with Cody. And, you know, Rock didn't do a lot, but he did a match. And he didn't get hurt, and he didn't get tired, and he didn't do a lot. But, like, I think he can do a singles with Cody, and then I think he's going to do a singles match with The Rock as Roman. His, or Roman as his final match. But we may as well review this 44-minute uh, match. It should only take like two minutes because it was a 12-minute match. Yes. But it was uh, it was what it was. So it's Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins versus Roman Reigns and Rock. 16 minutes of entrances. Yeah. For Per uh, Nodi which would be uh, the entrances would be the second longest match in the show behind the ladder match. And by the way, for those wondering, the first person out was Cody, mm-hmm. followed by Seth, followed by The Rock. And then Roman Reigns was the final person introduced. Well, he is the champion. Yes. yes. So they do, I will charitably say they did some stuff in the ring. That's very generous of me. And then it was 15 straight minutes of crowd brawling. Yeah. We did a whole lot of nothing. And you know, I got to say about that, uh, this whole match, I, I actually thought that was impossibly stupid what they did because this whole match was built around if... Uh, if Cody and Seth win, then it is a straight match on Sunday. Yes. But if Rock and Roman win, it's bloodline rules, right? Mm-hmm. Which means anything goes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So this match was not bloodline rules. It was a normal wrestling match. But the referee, when they fought outside, starts counting. And The Rock immediately tells him to stop counting right now. He said, if you count, I will fire you. His exact words, and I have to scroll back like 300 pages to get to it. You know the Rocky said, I don't fuck around. You count, you're fired. 
So at that point, it was like, why did we even do this match? Because now we know that even if Cody and Seth won, all The Rock has to tell the referee is, hey, fuck you, dude. You disqualify Roman or whatever, or you're fired. So I thought that was stupid. And Rock may have just done that on his own accord. But anyway, yes, they brought in the crowd for hours, yeah. and the ref did nothing. Well, before they brought into the crowd, it was very clunky. So I was happy. It was better the when they were walking and talking. Right. Especially The Rock. Yeah, yeah. So they eventually get back in the ring 50 minutes later. Roman clips Seth's knee. And as the action continued to, I suppose, unfold, is the word, I was reminded of the famous Tracy Smothers quote. We're going to start off slow and then taper off from there. Mm -hmm. Nothing happened for minutes on end. The highlight of this portion may have been when Rock hit a low blow and whipped, then whipped Seth into the ropes, and Seth was running the ropes while grabbing his balls. Yes, there's the highlight. I don't know if I'd say that, but it was funny. Somewhere in here. <laughs> Are we sure you should be reviewing this particular match, Vinny? Have at it. Be my guest. Well, listen. Was it too long by a half hour? Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, is that all? Well, I wouldn't say a half hour. This would have been. This I would. Would, this would have been fine at twenty three minutes or so. It would have been a lot better. At it did not minutes. need to be forty four minutes long. It would have been much better at thirteen minutes. But at the end of the day, Rock has limited matches left. Everybody wanted to see the goddamn Rock. I'm sure he wanted to put in forty five minutes. It was what they did, and you know. I, I've seen plenty of matches worse than this. I have too. They, they just stretched it the, the, the hell last out. 13, 15 minutes was very good. Yeah. It just took forever to get there. And you know, at the end of the day, they had a few things that they needed to get in. They needed to get in Mama Rhodes. They needed to get in the weight belt shot. They needed to get in the tease for the people's elbow and then later hit the people's elbow. And the biggest one of all, hey, listen, you know, this crowd was tired. By the three-hour and 45-minute mark. And freezing. But, man, when Roman Reigns set up for that spear, and he's going to spear Cody, and Cody is standing right in front of Roman Reigns, yeah. everybody in the fucking crowd knew exactly what was going to happen. And he storms across the ring, and Seth pulls Cody out of the way, and Roman Reigns speared the rock, and this fucking place went nuts. They went nuts. And you should have seen Rock selling this spear. He yes. was a king. <laughs> and then they like hit all these moves, and you think it's over, but there's a save. And then they brawl outside some more, and Rock took a uh, his own move, a urinage, a rock bottom through the table outside. What do you call me? Everybody's dead. And uh, Cody throws Rock into the ring. Roman hits a drive-by. Cody and Roman get in this brawl. Cody hits the crossroads. He hits another crossroads. He's going for the third. And all of a sudden, fucking strapped on the back by The Rock. He strapped the shit out of Cody. And Cody goes down. Roman spears him. Roman can now pin Cody Rhodes. But Rock makes sure, I want that fucking tag. And so Roman's like, all right, take the tag. And he tags the guy in. Rock hits the rock bottom, does the throat slit, does the uh, bloodline hand signal, people's elbow, one, two, three. And as far as, like, the story they told in the match, like, I thought the whole thing was good, just way too long. But it's not like it was a bad match. It's not like anybody looked bad, you know, everybody looked fine. And the people really enjoyed the end. By the end. And it yes. sets up a lot of things. So I, I cannot say that this was like a failure. If anybody wants to say it's too goddamn long, the show was too goddamn long, like, go for it. That's fine. But as a match, I thought it was it was a totally fine match. It did what it needed to do. I agree with that. I, uh, I thought the thing was a spectacle. I was not bored at any point. I did want them to uh, get to the point. Up. Yeah. I uh, love watching Paul Heyman, especially when uh, Roman speared The Rock. Uh, I thought Paul Heyman was going to uh, uh, expire at ringside. Um, good match. Way too long. It needed what it needed to do. Uh, you also forgot there when Roman has Cody in the guillotine and Rock grabs Cody's legs and is holding Under him down. The ring. Yeah. <laughs> and the, the, the ref is looking right at it, but of course he's scared of being fired, so he can't do anything. 
Yes. Yeah. And Michael Cole, the voice of the promotion, says to you, the fan, this is so stupid. <laughs> and fuck, he was right. It was stupid. It well, was. The Rock's using his power as uh, a TKO yeah. board member. That's the story they're telling. Yeah, otherwise, uh, he'll get his. Like in I the say, end. the last 10, 15 minutes was pretty good. Yeah, Speaking the of stupid. What in the world was Seth Rollins wearing to the ring? Hey, he wears stupid he shit. He wears wacky shit. Had a very long robe. I think. I think. I think it was supposed to be a giant flower on his shoulder. What I, I what I did like was uh, Mama Rhodes is at ringside, and she's with Cody's father in law, mm-hmm. who is who is uh, Brandy's father, sure. and apparently he's he's fighting cancer. He. He's in chemo, the whole nine yards, but he made it to WrestleMania, and he's standing there. He's got a weight belt over his shoulder, and uh, believe me, I'm sure that that Cody's mother is is a very classy, like legitimately a very classy lady. But the funniest thing was when they show her at ringside, and she's all mad, and and uh, I think it's Cole. One of the announcers is in the middle of saying what a classy lady Mrs. Mm-hmm. Rhodes is, and all of a sudden she just goes, Bullshit! She starts screaming and swearing at The Rock. <laughs> I missed that. I was dying. It was uh, awesome. That's funny. That's I Rock. loved it. The Rock's mama was there too, but she was not mentioned. No. So we have the twin pedigrees for a double near fall. That the- was a great spot. Yeah. Place went nuts for that. We had, uh, towards the end there, I counted six bumps for The Rock in this match. Which is actually more than I was expecting, to be fair. Sure. And the last one was really big. I know I say all the time the table bumps are overrated, but the fact is going through a table is worse than a normal bump in the ring. And uh, that rock bottom through the table, as you know, the Uranagi by Cody, the put rock through the table. And at the same time, Rock spin se- pin speared Seth through the barricade. I thought that was going to set up Rock and Cody one on one for a while, which I guess in the end it did, and then Rock and returned and. Uh, the finish happened. So, well, the other thing too, when you get the bump through the announce table, is a normal a normal table. It just breaks right through the middle. You know exactly what's going to happen, unless it doesn't break. But like, you're going to go through the middle. It's going to go like this, and that's it. With the announce table, because of the way it's constructed, I mean, first off, you have to hope that everything's off that table and nothing mm-hmm. was left on there. And then it breaks weird. It doesn't just crack through the middle. It like kind of collapses in a weird way. So it's it's more. Um, it's more unpredictable than going through a normal table. But, hey, Rock took it. And, you know, when when I always said the Rock is never going to have another match, I said that for years. And the reason was he had two matches with John Cena, and he got pretty seriously injured in both of them. And this was a decade ago that yeah. he had those matches. Mm-hmm. And I was like, there's no way. He's 10 years older. It's just not going to happen. But as it turns out, Rock's no idiot. And uh, the big difference is, when he had those matches with Cena, he had been retired for years and years and years and years. And what he tried to do in both of them was be the old Rock. And, uh, And he couldn't, and he got hurt. In this match, there was no mistaking his understanding that he is not the old Rock. He has a few spots that he can still do, and he did them. And the rest of it was walking, talking, brawling, stomping, kicking, and cheating. And the other guy did all the work, and I thought that uh, it worked out It worked out great for him. At the end, when he's setting up for that people's elbow, do you remember when he first came back, and uh, all he did was walk to the ring, and he was totally gassed? Like, <laughs> he walked to the ring, he took the mic, and he's, like, about to die. He's just... He did this 40-minute match, 44-minute match or whatever, and at the very end, he's standing there getting ready for the rock bottom. He ain't even breathing hard. That's how well he paced himself in this match. So uh, he can do two more. I think he will. Do you think that Stone Cold Wrestling last year, do you think that uh, lit a fire under him? I doubt it. He's wanted to wrestle for years. It just has never worked out. Okay. I think the big difference now is when he got on that TKO board, he got $30 million, mm-hmm. which is you know more than he would make for a movie. Sure. And so I think he had no problem taking time out of his schedule hmm. for that $30 million. So Guess Vinny's surgery. Hernia surgery from carrying the Brian of Vinny show on his back, Jack, for all of these years. Oh, get out of here. Penis reduction. <laughs> Short Granny, surgery. Granny laugh. Granny, removal of cyst near his left testicle. Oh, my gosh. I think what? it's called your penis. <laughs> Sean, out. The John Holmes extension. The adedictomy. <laughs> this guy says gag reflex removal that's mean he put a pork chop in his rectum i think that you've been suffering from sore assesis 
Seven days you've been saving that <laughs> yeah. one. The fact is I went to the hospital to get hemorrhoids removed. Pain, discomfort, and also being very, very tired all the time. It's dragon ass. <laughs> Greg, please. <laughs> hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.